Hi. For those of you that haven't met me before, my name's Nikki and I own the business True Equanimity Yoga. I'm a Drew Yoga and Meditation teacher. So today is World Kindness Day. So I thought it might be nice to share a bit of a practice that brings a bit of kindness and compassion um, to yourself, to others. So I hope you can share me with this short practice. We're going to come up to standing. We'll do some brief activations. I'm going to share a sequence called the Seed of Compassion sequence with you. So join me up on your mat. Let's begin just with a bit of activation, just to warm up the body, shake off any stress. So let's just begin by shaking through one hand, fingers, thumbs, up to the elbow, up to the shoulder, let the whole arm go nice and wobbly, with a really good shake. And then let that arm come become still and just check in, notice how it feels compared to the other arm maybe. And then we'll do that on the other side, shaking through this wrist, and fingers, thumbs, up to the elbow, up to the shoulder, and we're letting all the tension in this arm go, shaking up all the cells. Maybe bring the other arm back in now. You might like to take them both out in front, out to the side, and then just pause, and on the out breath, let them gently float down by your side. And then we'll do the same for our legs. Give the feet a little bit of shake, shaking through the ankles, up to the knee, all the way up to the hip. Maybe giving the whole leg a bit of a shake, maybe take it out to the side a bit. And let all the tension in that leg go from the hips down to the toes. Placing that foot gently down, shifting the weight, shaking through the ankle on this side, up to the knee, up to the hip. Maybe taking it out to the side, letting go from the hip down to the toes on this side. And then let that foot come gently down and then we'll do a little bit of twisting so gently twisting from the base of the spine letting the hands come to just give the lower back a bit of a tap feeling into your spine today notice how it's feeling you might even like to bring the other hand up to give yourself a bit of a tap on the shoulder while the other hand taps the lower back And then bring that both hands back down to tap the area of the lower back. And that twist come to the whole spine maybe. And then slowing that down, coming to be still. And then we'll let our arms come up overhead, have a bit of a stretch and a reach. And then hinge forward from the hips, let the head and neck relax, let the hands sweep up behind. Push through the feet, bend the knees, rise up on an in-breath. Exhale, let go on an out breath. So inhale, rising up, filling up. Exhale, letting go. So doing that a couple more times to the rate of your own breath. Inhale up. And exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Time, let the hands come down to the sides on the out breath. And then we'll finish our activations, giving ourselves a bit of a hug. So wrap yourself up, hand comes to the opposite shoulder, let the chin come to the chest. Taking a couple of breaths here, maybe for the back of the body, expand the shoulders. Then breathe in, let the heart, chest, lungs open, the gaze come up. And then wrap yourself in a hug again, see if you can alternate which side. So breathing in, Heart, chest, lungs open, shoulder blades squeeze, gaze comes up. Exhale, wrapping yourself up. In a sense of kindness, compassion. Sending that kindness and compassion to yourself. Do that one more time, giving yourself a bit of a hug. And then breathing in, let the arms come out. Breathing out, let them come down by the sides. You might like to shrug the shoulders up towards the ears on your in-breath release down the out breath do that maybe a couple more times letting tension the shoulders go beautiful and then we'll move into this seed of compassion sequence which is a lovely one to open the heart chest 
bring in more love, joy, compassion and kindness on this World Kindness Day so that we can be kind to ourselves and be kind to others. So we're going to bring the hands on an in-breath up overhead and form the lotus mudra. So the heels of the hands touch the thumbs and the little fingers and making this lotus shape. Bring it towards the crown of the head. And we're going to come into the chair of the heart movement. So we're going to bend through the knees, same time as we extend up with the arms. Then we stand back up and head, hands come to the head again. So we inhale, opening that lotus mudra. Exhale, drawing it down, closing it. Breathing in, lengthening for that opening through the heart. Exhale, softening back. Do that a couple more times to the rate of your own breath. A pump for the heart. Last one. And then let the arms come down and let them come behind your back. You might hold your elbows or clasp your wrists so that the Hands are open at the back. The main reason to be letting our chest and heart area be open. And then step the feet a little bit wider apart. And then we're going to turn to face the right. So the right foot turns out 90 degrees, left foot drops back a little bit. Hips face towards square onto the leg. And then we're going to gently fold down from the base of the spine. Bend that front knee, uncurl from the base of the spine, leading with the heart chest, rolling back up. So it's an exhale as we fold forwards a little bit further. And inhale as we roll up. So feeling this heart opening movement. Having a sense of humility. Easing in through this spinal wave. And the next time you fold forwards, let the hands release down to the floor. We've come into the crane. So we're going to shift our weight forward onto that front foot, come up onto our back toes, and extend that leg up and out. So our hips stay level, but we're pushing through that foot, taking up a couple of great breaths in this crane or inversion posture. And then to come out, lowering that back foot down, Coming into a gentle runner posture. On a breath in, let the hands come up. On a breath out, push the hands forward. Take a breath or two in this posture as we come into the seat of compassion posture. So awareness to your left arm, so the arm that is not over your bent knee. On an in-breath, let it rise up, pause. And then on the out-breath, let it open. And then you might like to bring the fingertips gently together, the elbows gently in, and then release away. Adding in an inhale and an exhale. So breathing in, releasing, softening on the out breath. You might like to imagine that you're breathing in, kindness, compassion, and letting that kindness and compassion ripple out into the world, wherever it's needed today. Extending some of that kindness to yourself. One more. Let the arms stay out extended. And then on the in-breath, let the hand come up overhead. And on the out-breath, let it come back down. Pausing here, taking a breath or two. Then let the hands lower down to the floor. Or tuck that back toe under. Come back up onto that back foot. And let the hands come back behind the back. You might just hang on to the wrists. Awareness of the base of the spine as you roll up on the in-breath. Coming up, turning the feet to face forward, release the arms, give the shoulders a bit of a wiggle if you need to. And we're going to do that on the other side. So turning the left foot out 90 degrees, drop the right foot back, hips are square on, with the hands to the lower back area. And on the out breath, fold forwards, bending that front knee, uncurl from the base of the spine, leading with the chest, heart, sternum area. So exhale as you fold forwards. Inhale, leading with your heart. Feeling the heart space nice and open. Just doing this to the rate of your own breath. Maybe easing a little bit lower each time.
And the next time you fold forwards, let the hands release to the floor, either side of that front foot, come up onto the back toes, extend that right leg out, come into the crane, hips remain level, pushing through away with that foot, taking a breath or two in the crane in this inversion, maybe imagining light flowing down the spine, out through the crown. To come out, lower that back foot down, come down into a gentle runner position. And on an in breath, let the hands come up. On an out breath, let the hands gently push forward. Taking a breath or two in this position, awareness at your heart center. And then when you're ready to breathe in, let that arm extend up toward the ceiling, pausing. And then on the out breath, let the hands extend away, breathing in. Fingertips, elbows come together, breathing out, releasing. So it's an inhale, put the shoulder blade squeeze, exhale, releasing. Once again, imagine that you can send out ripples of peace, kindness, compassion out into the world. Sending that kindness and compassion to yourself, to others, to wherever it might be needed in the world today. Last one pausing and then on the in breath let that hand come up and on the out breath let it come back down take a couple of breaths here then bring the hands down to either side that front foot tuck the back toe under and up onto the back foot bring the hands behind the lower back gently unroll from the base of the spine come to face forward and we're going to finish with these circles of compassion. So let the hands come up overhead, clasp the hands together and we're going to circle to the left. So take the hands down all the way towards the feet as you circle down and back up through the right, pausing overhead. Next time we do that we're going to come past the knees. So circling past the knees, back up overhead and then circling past the hips. Pausing overhead, circling past the heart. Circling past the throat area. Circling at the level of the brow center. And one last little circle over the crown of the head. Give it the feet back together. And then form that lotus mudra, open mudra. The heels of the hands touch, the fingers, middle fingers and thumbs touch making this kind of chalice shape like a lotus flower. Imagine beautiful sun shining down, pouring down into that lotus flower. And as you breathe out, draw that energy down to the heart. Drawing that beautiful energy of the sun to the heart level. And then gently let the fingertips touch, the hands close. Bring them back into Anjali Mudra. Let's take a moment to notice where you feel the effects of this seed of compassion sequence in the body, in the physical layer, in your energetic layer. Check in with your heart space. Check in with the mind, the thoughts stilled and settled. And just take a couple of more breaths in this blissful layer. I'd like to dedicate the benefit of this practice and send out kindness and compassion to someone or somewhere that needs it today. Or we might like to let the hands release, let them sort of dig into that heart in your heart space and offer that out, maybe offering that kindness and compassion to yourself. Pausing and a bit of a closing quote. Just remember if you can, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I hope you can enjoy kindness, real kindness day every day. But today, maybe think about bringing some sort of random act of kindness into your day. Thank you. Namaste.